Hello, everyone. Welcome, everyone, and welcome. Uh, welcome, Jen, Diane, NEHRBC, and others. It's an online trade assemble. We want to welcome each and every one of you to the presentation today. Welcome, JD. Welcome, Picasso, Jim, Ty, and others. This is online at Trader Central. We are fortunate today to have Melissa Armour with us. We'll be starting promptly in uh, just about a minute. And we do try to start on time. We do try to end on time as well. So let me uh, see if I can round up the musicians. Uh, okay, percussion section. Drummer. Okay, and the trumpet. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, we are very pleased again today to be able to bring you our host and presenter for today, Melissa Armo from thestockswish.com. Please put your hands together and welcome our host. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you so much. Welcome, everyone. Happy Halloween. It's the day before Halloween, doing a little Halloween webinar today. Thanks so much for everyone that's decided to join me. My name is Melissa Armo, and I own a company called The Stock Swoosh LLC. Today's webinar is going to be about a very good topic about risk to reward. It's a lot of things that traders uh, don't think about, and, and really it's a very important part of trading. The topic is risk a little, earn a lot. And if you have any questions or would like more information, you can go to my website at www.thestockswish.com or you can email me at melissa at thestockswish.com as well. So, do you wish you could make more money by only risking a little? Lots of times people think, gosh, you know, the only way I'm going to be able to be a good trader is if I'm risking lots of money. I need to have all of this money. Well, actually, you know, it's really about quality in trading, not about risking a lot. It's about really honing in on the detail. Ask yourself, is there enough profit potential in the trades you take? If you're trading and only making a penny per penny or a dollar per dollar, that's really not enough payout to be a successful trader. Is there enough profit potential in the strategy you trade. Now, the strategy that I happen to trade, which we're going to discuss today, is gaps. This was a gap here, very nice gap that happened, and this is a very profitable strategy gaps. There are a lot of different strategies people do in the market. However, not all of them pay a very high risk to reward. So that's what we're going to talk about today. When you exit your trade, do you always feel like, oh, I just, I didn't get enough, I wish I want more, I want more? I want more. Do you feel like you need more? Like you're always looking out. Isn't there more? Always wanting, always needing, always wishing, always hoping. If this is what's happening to you when you're taking your trades, then, then something's going on. Something needs to be corrected. Either the strategy or your actual entries or your exit positions in the place that you do. Because you should exit a trade a good trade each and every day and feel good, good about yourself, satisfied, not wanting or needing more, like you had a terrific trade where you can pat yourself in the back and book money. And the way to do that is to getting the right risk to reward. Do you have to risk a lot of money to be successful in the market? The answer is no. No, no you don't. You, you really don't. Uh, this was a trade that just happened last week. This was on Friday. This is one of these things that's just so uncanny. I could look back at the daily chart of this stock on FIO. The range on this day, I, I got literally the entire range of this move on the day, it was something very unusual and really wasn't a big range, but was enough range with a correct analysis to take the trade and get the move on down. And I got the full move of the stock on the day. I mean, it was an excellent trade that had a really good risk to reward. And the bar of the day really wasn't much of anything. So you really don't have to risk a lot of money to be successful. The entry for this trade was in the morning, and the price was 9.73. Stop was over 9.81. I'm going to go back and show you in a minute. So if you just wanted to risk eighty dollars, and and anyone could risk eighty dollars if they want to trade the market. You could have taken a thousand shares of this. Exit was 9.43. It was the entire move of this bar in the day. Total profit would have been three hundred dollars. This is a 3.75 times the amount of money your risk was made in profit. And we're going to discuss this in more detail today about what this really means. So you could have turned $80 into $300. That's a great risk to reward trade. That's excellent. So again, $80. You could have taken this trade in here in $80, risked 80 bucks, gotten this move down in here, and gotten out. A very profitable trade, a very nice trade. Doesn't look like much. This doesn't look like much of anything at all. And yet you could have risked $80 and made 300 bucks. 
And if you're an advanced trader, you could have risked even more. So this is the kind of thing that you really should be the goal, the goal to get this day after day after day consistently, because this is how you rack up earnings and start to really get going making money in the market. And, and how do you get to a point where you can start risking more than $80, where you can risk $160, $240, start to double and triple your risk? You've got to be able to figure out how to get the quality, the most bang for your buck, no matter what you're trading. So the right risk to reward in trades equals results. And when you have results, you feel confident, you feel good about yourself, you move forward, and you start to increase your size trading. Then the only difference from what you're doing today until the next day or the next month or the next year is size. And that's how you start to really make a living in the market. So how do you measure the success of your trading results? If we're measuring this on a scale here on a ruler, how do we really measure whether or not something is good or whether or not something is so-so, whether it's just like maybe trade? Well, here are some examples, okay? Here's an example of an unsuccessful trade. If you risk $300 and you're making only $150, that is not a successful trade. Now, this isn't a loser, okay? This is not a loser trade. You, you risked money and you made money, that's, that's fine. But this is not what I would consider a successful trade. Someone risking $300 is only actually making a half of the amount that they're risking. What would I consider a successful trade? Example of a successful trade would be risking $300 and making $900. That's a successful trade. This is what I would consider a 3R risk to reward trade. You risked $300 and you made three times that amount, that's $900. This is a very successful trade. Now an example of a really very successful trade is what? Well, when you're risking $300 and you're making $3,000, this is 10 times the amount of your risk. Do you get trades like this? Yes. Again, how do you find them? Where do you look for them? How do you know how to take them? And these are often things that go to dream targets. And actually today, a lot of trades, a, a, a lot of gaps went to really beautiful dream targets. So what kind of trader do you want to be? Ask yourself, what, what do you want to be? Do you want to be a so-so, a maybe, a mm? No, you want to be a successful trader. And not only that, you want to be a very successful trader. You want to go and say to yourself and to your friends and look at yourself in the mirror and say, I really did it. I did it. I'm doing it. I'm doing everything correct. I've got a good strategy. My money is working for me. And ultimately, that's what you want. You want your money to work for you. You do have to get your money to work for you in the market to make everything, all the effort, all the work that you've done to get to this point worthwhile. It's really about quality, not quantity. Just like when you go to the store and you want to buy something, sure, you can go and you can buy cubic zirconia diamonds for your girlfriend or a, a, a watch that's a knockoff for your boyfriend. But, you know, will they be able to tell the difference? Well, you can tell the difference. You know the difference, just like you know the difference when you take a good trade or you take a trade that's really not that great. It's about quality and everything you do with trading. Results really are about the risk to reward no matter what size you trade or how much money you have or risk. So it doesn't really matter if you're trading 100 share lots, 1,000 share lots, or 10,000 share lots. It should always be about the risk to reward and whether or not it's worth it. And it doesn't matter if you have a small baby beginner account or an advanced account, a very large trading account. People that have a lot of money still want to make more with what they've got. It, this isn't just about beginner people trying to turn something into something bigger or more for themselves to grow a small account. This, real people, wealthy people, people that are trading a lot of size still want to make as much as they possibly can with what they have. And even more so, people that are wealthy and have a lot of money are very, very concerned about taking things that are quality, quality, quality. So good risk to reward trades are, are for everyone. They're for everyone. It doesn't matter where you're at, what, what type of financial position you're in, whether you're a beginner trader or advanced trader, whether you're new, whether you have a little bit of money, a lot of money to trade, it really doesn't matter. They're for everyone. Everyone wants to make the most that they can with the amount of money that they have, whatever it happens to be. So spend your time and money wisely on good risk to reward trades. So what is a good risk to reward payout? Well, let's talk about exactly what I, this is what I consider a good risk reward payout. One to three on the low end. Okay, this is, this is the low end. So you're really looking, the goal is three. You want to make three when you're risking money on a trade. Four to six is what I call the middle end. 
If you make four or more, that's the middle end of your risk to reward, and that's actually pretty good. If you can make four or five hours a day or risk amounts a day, that's it. You're making money as a trader. This actually pays for some losses, and you're still paying yourself at the end of the week or the end of the month. And eight to ten on the high end is what you will get when the stocks move for bigger targets. And you don't get these trades every day, but when you do, it's an amazing thing, and they really bulk up your week and bulk up your month. So this means for every dollar you risk, you should have a goal. This is the goal of a minimum of $3 that you want to make. Also, there should be a potential. Whether or not you get it every day or not, you don't know. You don't know to the stock opens and trades. But there should be a potential, meaning I know the dream target is this, and if Crest gets to the dream target today, then I'm going to make this much. So the dream target should get you at least 8 to 10 on the high end when you do it. So really, if you calculate this on a percentage basis, and I know a lot of people like to think of things this way that think about money, then that means that if you invest a dollar on a trade and you are paid $3 on a trade, that you are gaining a 300% return on your trade. This, this is huge. This is huge. And by the way, this is why people want to trade the market. Because you can't take your money into a money market account, a CD, or pretty much anything else, maybe real estate, uh, you know, but even that isn't turn, turn around for you in a day when you invest money in real estate. It takes time. You can invest money in trading on the day, live, intraday trading, to have the money and booked and be flat by 4 o'clock and it's there, it's yours, it's in your account, and you don't have to wait weeks and months and years to get paid. This is why everyone that I talk to is so excited and wants to trade the market because this is a 300% return on your money. That's really what it is. And this is on the low end, but this has to be the goal. So this means if you're risking a dollar, and make $3, you're having a 300% return on your trade. That's amazing. So what other strategy the market offers is kind of pay out on a dollar for dollar basis? Gaps, gaps, gaps is it, gaps. The way that I trade, what we're gonna talk about today, golden gaps, this is it. This, this is the way to do it in the market. And, there, and by the way, there's lots of things you can do in the market to make money, okay? I've tried them all since the day one when I started. And this is the best way to really get the most bang for your buck. And this is the way to make a large profit in the market. And this is the way to risk a little and turn it into a lot. Or you could risk a lot and turn it into a way lot. This is also the way you can make a very good rate of return percentage-wise on your trades and positions in the market. And ultimately, this is the goal. This is the goal for people because you're spending your time and money doing this and you want to see some results. So how do you achieve good risk-to-reward results? Well, you've got to learn how to take successful setups. Such a big part of it. Learning how to take successful setups is something traders really, really need to focus on, and I know this. It's like trying to win the race before you even qualified for the run. You need to learn how to take successful setups before you can make money in the market. The play is so important because this is how you enter and exit the trade. The play is important because this is how you're making the money trading. And you can have a correct directional read, for example, on a chart, but if you take a bad entry or put the stop at the wrong place, then you can lose in a position even if you get the directional bias right. Or you might not make enough because you may undersize yourself not knowing where to put the stop correctly, meaning put the stop at a place where it's really, really far away. If you're unsure of how to take a trade and therefore missing out on the right risk to reward, and this is key. This is really what's going to make a difference in your P&L at the end of the week, at the end of the month, to be able to pay yourself. So I'd like you to ask yourself, you know, do you believe? Do you believe in small stops or really do you think they're bogus? You know, they're not bogus. They're real. I know because I'm doing them and I'm doing them every day. It's about precision and detail and that is what matters. Accuracy counts. It accounts in trading on all fronts. What does that mean? It means a quality strategy, a good risk to reward, the right entry, correct sizing of your position, and the proper exit. Being successful in the market takes detail and a certain level of precision, and detail matters. Of all the things you think you do, if they really matter in trading, it happens on a minutia uh, time element during the day when you're day trading, but it really, really matters, and once you learn how to do it, it's actually easy. It can make a difference in you making a lot of money one day or losing one day, so it is really important. And so you have to learn what to do, and not only that, when to do it. Here's a good example. This one just happened this week. This was just, yeah, it was yesterday. It was on the 29th. This was the AGNC. I was in this trade all the way back here. I had the stop at 22.50. Traded all the way down, money in this trade. All of a sudden, out of nowhere, this machine thing happened. 
and, and machines trade in the market and they're part of the market and we have to trade with them. But here's a great example where accuracy and detail played a factor in me staying in this trade. I had the stop at the right place. It was a tight stop. It was three pennies over the high. I didn't get taken out of it here. The machine came up and retested this number right back here, the resistance, and I was in the trade and continued on and made uh, made money and was a terrific trade. So this machine even didn't take me out. Why? Accuracy and knowing exactly where to put it. And many people who wouldn't know this might have either A, gotten scared from a machine little bar like this, or if they didn't have the stop at the right place, would have taken gotten taken out. But this is a reason people don't know how to use stops. They see these things happen in the market like this, and then they're not sure. And they might put the stop like all the way up here. But this kills the risk to reward then at the trade if it's all the way up here. I'm taking more size by entering it and putting it here. And there's no reason to put it up here. If it comes up here, then I don't want to be in it. People are afraid of machines in the market, but it's all about accuracy. Remember, machines are programmed by people. That's all. Machines don't work on their own. They're programmed by people. And what do people use? They use numbers. And so this is where the accuracy and the detail really counts. And by the way, here was a resistance on this. This is to the penny. So advanced technical analysis is the way that I trade. I and mean, this is how that I trade every single day. This is how I'm teaching people how to trade. And it's real. It, it is so, so real. The, all the information you need to analyze stocks to find quality entries is found in the price action and charts. That's how I trade. Using advanced technical analysis skills can help you predict how the stock is going to set up before it does and also where it is going to go to a target before it does. Target of AGNC was 2270. It went to 2271. <laughs> it went to 2271. And I said in the morning the target was 2270. So when the stock sets and triggers, you can take deliberate action and enter the position without hesitation. You've got to be deliberate. You take a trade. I'm deliberate when I take a trade. Boom. In. Stop over there. Do it. I'm in. I'm deliberate. No hesitation. No question yourself. No wondering. Ah. No. Take it. Do it. In. Do it. Put the stop at the right place. Take the size. Go. Get the risk reward. Get the trade. No fear. Technical analysis, which I 100% believe in and have 100% conviction in and use and see and live in the market day after day after day, uses past price data to predict future moves in stocks and the market. If you want to become a successful trader, it is important to analyze price action in detail. This means the numbers. That's all. Understanding price action helps you evaluate the correct directional trend of a chart so you know what direction to take the position and when. And it's not about having a big fat finger. It's about proper trade execution. You've got to press the button, but no fat fingers here. Lots of people just are so unsure of themselves. This is why setups and entries are so important in trading. Because it's about calculated risk. It is not gambling. It's not just press it, press it, press it. No, this is your own money you're risking. It's got to make sense. What do I mean by calculated risk? It means a chance taken after careful estimation of the probable outcome. Careful estimation of the probable outcome. If A, G, and C gaps down to here, and if A, G, and C sets up here, and the resistance is here, and the target is here, will I make at least a 3R risk to reward or more? The answer is yes. So you estimate this before it happens as a probable outcome. Proper risk to reward trades use calculated risk. That's how it's done. And this means knowing what the stock to trade. So you got to know what to watch too. What is the basis though for taking a certain position in a stock? I don't just play any stock in the world. Or knowing that the setup will go where you take it with the stop where you put it. It's because of the actual strategy that I'm trading, which is the gap. It's because of the gap and it's all in the quality of the gap. And if you don't know what gaps are, they are strategy in the market. And they happen in the market every day, every day of the year. So where do you find these kinds of quality setups that you can take small stops in gaps? Quality setups that provide good risk to reward are found in highly rated gaps. Gaps are an event in the chart of a stock and are a large display of price action. That's why they're so meaningful. That's why these um, moves work so well and the stops fit. Because institutions who participate in the market notice gaps. They all notice them and they play them too. And then they trade them. And as one indiv individual then, you can trade them too to make money. So this is where the opportunity arises. These gaps happen. Stocks gap, they gap up, they gap down. Everyone's seeing them. Institutions are seeing them and they're playing them. And then as one individual, you're deciding, yes, I'm going to play them too. And then you watch it and you look for the setup.
I find gaps and then I rate them. So how do I know what gaps are the ones to trade? Well, I made this checklist for myself. It, it has to pass the checklist. I have a 26-point checklist test. It's like a test. You have to pass the test. And if it passes this golden gap 26-point checklist text, then I watch the gap in the morning, wait for a setup, and I take it. And I figure out all the numbers ahead of time after I rate the gap what to do. Where is the support? Where is the resistance? Where is the target? And if it sets up here where it's gapping and it goes to the target, do I have the right risk to reward? So let's look at this one here. This is a gap from today. This is the biggest bar this chart has ever had in its life. Symbol is CETV. Very, very small price point. Once again, you really don't need a, a huge, huge, huge million dollar account to trade something like this. This is a really nice gap. And it's the biggest bar this thing has ever had in its life and went to every target and beyond. I mean, even Dream Target was here around 310-ish or even $3, went through that. Beautiful, beautiful trade. This is a one-minute chart. The stock opened and showed immediate weakness. You could have actually taken this aggressively right away or you let it rally back and take it into the next setup. The entry time was, well, you could have gotten in here at 9.32, but the entry time really that made more sense was about 9.36. Price was 3.94. Stop over 4.03, the risk was 9 cents. And again, if you look at this, you say 9 cents, but the stop is over here, over this basey base. So if this trade would have failed and gone over this area, you don't want to be in it anymore. Why? Let's go look at the daily chart. Here's right about where this thing was setting up, okay? So when this is moving down, if it starts to back up against itself, it's going to lift. It could go, it could go anywhere at once. There's, this is a big gap down. The stock actually closed here the night before at around $6.12. Opened the next morning here around $4.25-ish. So if the stock fails on the setup and starts to lift, you don't want to be in it. This is why it makes sense to size yourself and take the trade and put the stop at the right place because if it doesn't work, you want to be out. And if it works, you go and you make all this money here. Exit was 280 and actually broke that. Total profit, $6,840 if you risk $540 in this trade. What is the risk to reward? 12.67 times the amount risk made in profit. So you could have turned $540 into $6,840. That is a great risk to reward trade. This is an amazing risk to reward trade. Again, like I was saying, the stock went to the dream target and beyond. Do you get these every day? No. Do you get these a couple of times a month? Yes. Yes, you do. And this is why trading is so great and so much fun. And, you know, it's one of these things where you never think in your life that a stock at this price point would ever move like this. And, and yet it did. And yet it did. Why? What makes this much momentum? The gap. People selling out of this thing, they don't want it anymore. They said, that's enough. And they just say, take me out, get me out. And then the selling can, can, goes down all day. Just persistent selling all the time. And it barely even rallied in the close. This like couldn't get a breath of life for itself. So a really, really, really nice move. And a 12.67 time risk to reward is a great payout. All you need is one trade like this or two trades like this a month going to Dream Target. And you have a month. I mean, this is a really, really nice payout. And again, it doesn't matter how much you risk here. If you only risk half of this, a third of this, 25% of this, whatever you can afford to risk, it's not about the amount of money. It's about the amount that you're risking per times. That's what's so great about this. The very idea that you could even risk $100 and make 12 times $100, that's $1,200. So if you only risked 100 bucks on this, you would have made $1,200. No, it's not difficult to short a $5 stock. I had this available to short today. I've had a ton of stocks available to short in a small price range. This is a heavily, heavily, heavily traded thing here. You got to trade with people that can get you shorts. Obviously, I do that. Let's look here at HWAY. Another beautiful gap with a nice follow through that continued. This is the day of the gap and the father, the second day and even the third day down. This was even breaking today too. Really, really nice uh, continuation move on this. Again, nobody wants this thing, it's dead. 
This was a second day play on this. And the reason I'm pointing this out is this was a second day play on this. Sometimes these things have really nice moves to the second day. So it's the follow through the gap. Again, stock opens here at 930, sets up immediately and breaks. Look at this move all day. As soon as you take the trade, you're up money and you just stay in it. And you can just keep even lowering your stock. You just never look back. It's just a constant, constant sell-off. Entry time was in the morning. Price was 11.49. Stop was over 10.60. I'm going to show you where this resistance was here in the next chart. Risk is 11 cents on 5,000 shares, which is an advanced risk. Risk is $550. Exits 10.66. This is almost a dollar move in an $11 price point stock. On a follow-through continuation of the gap. Why? Because not everybody gets out the day of the gap. Lots and lots of times stocks gap for various reasons and not everybody notices them on the day of the gap. Lots of people do, most people do the day of the gap, but then sometimes what happens is the late people come in and they see it then the next day and then they continue after the fact. And sometimes it happens like for a week after the fact. Total profit on this with an advanced risk is 41.50. This is over seven times the amount risked was made in profit. Again. If you wanted to risk $100 here, you can still make seven times the amount, over $700. You don't have to risk an advanced amount. You know, this is the same point. Is this a tight stop? Yes. Is it the right place to put it? Yes. You can turn $550 into $4150. This is a great risk to reward trade. Now, why was this the right place to put the stop? I'm going to show you here. Uh, so hold on. Sid is asking a question, and anyone else that has any questions here, I'll answer them too. How much equity do you need to short a stock like this, like 5,000 shares? Well, for this price point, you needed about 55,000, a little bit more, give, and, give or take. So I'd say between 50, around 55,000. You needed about 55,000 in buying power. That's not cash for cash. The reason that you trade with a broker is because the broker gives you leverage, and every broker gives you leverage. Depending on what broker you go with, you have to check to see what leverage they're willing to give you. To take this position, you would have needed uh, about 55000 okay, in BP, give or take. Buying power, that's not dollar for dollar. Brokers give you leverage, and you have to check with the broker to see the leverage they would give you. Go ahead, keep asking me questions. I'll answer them here while you're writing that, Sid. This was this second day. Okay, this is the first day here. I'm just showing you this chart. So this is the day of the gap here, which I did play this this day. This is the second day in. Now, how did I know that this was a good place to put the stop here? This is just so detailed. But this is the opening price in the day here. This is the second day. I want you to go with me here. You see this? So this entry where the stop had to be was at the resistance level. This is the resistance level for where it can't back up if it's going to fall through and work in the second day. Okay, there's some other questions here. Let me answer them. Do short gaps or long gaps tend to work or fall through better? Shorts. I, I do shorts because shorts tend to work faster, and I think they have bigger moves. Why? Because there's no sense of urgency for people to buy something. There is, there is no sense of urgency for you to run out and buy something tomorrow if it gaps up. You might think about it, think about it, think about it, and you might buy it in a day or a week or a couple of days after the fact when you see the stock price going up. There is a sense of urgency that's created here. Do you see this HWAY? Stock was up here the night before at 1640. Gap down here the next day at 1160. The stock price lost, you know, four or five dollars plus overnight. What this is a sense of urgency here. Crap, we gotta do something. What should we do? What should we do? We're in this long. Should we get out? Should we get out? Yeah, let's get out. Let's get out. Get us out. Out, 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 out. There's more of a sense of urgency with shorts. That's why I like to play to the downside. I prefer to play to the downside. You can play bullish gaps as well, but the downside gaps work very hard and fast and quick, and there's a sense of urgency. So my answer to that is I love shorts, but you can do gaps in both directions as long as they rate high enough to do. And the, the short moves work fast in the morning, and bullish moves tend to take more time all day. Um, so if anybody else have any questions? No, I do not trade options. I do not trade options, but I do have people that have taken my class and use the information to trade options because I'm teaching directional bias. So I'm teaching directional bias. I don't trade the options myself, but you could if you wanted to, if it made sense. Some will make sense to do that. Some will not make sense. 
you have to look into that. But it's based on the directional bias, then you would look out for the gap. Okay? So I've had people do that. I've had people do that on some of the calls I've made in some things over the last year. I, I'm just not doing it because I like to do the I like to do the straight equities. Let's look here at the juniper. Juniper was a really nice gap again that had the follow through. This was last week too. Look at the size of this bar. This is a monster. And then it followed through even the next day. And you could have played it in here. Um, Sid, you for for anything for shorting stocks or buying stocks or anything it's not just for shorts any type of trading that you have that you want to do day trading where you want to day trade you have to find a, a broker or a qualified broker that will allow you to day trade it's not it doesn't matter if you short or buy you have to find a broker which you can day trade with okay and it's nothing to do with the shorts whether it's shorts or, or longs, you have to be able to find a broker that will A, allow you to take shorts, and B, you have to check with them to find out what their requirements are for the balance, for the leverage, all of those things, okay? Um, the No, not if, you find a, not if you find a broker that will allow you to day trade. You have to find a broker that will allow you to day trade, and there's a million out there. Okay, let's look at the golden gap for Juniper. Well, how did this one work out? This actually had two very nice plays in it, one in the morning and one in the afternoon. Again, this a bar like this can be played all day. Played in the morning, let it ride back up, play it again. And you could have played it the next day, okay? So Juniper's entry time was immediately in the morning. Price was 19.95. Stop was over 2015. Risk is 20, 20 cents. So if you want to take an advance risk of $500, it'd be 2,500 shares. Exit is down to the drop. It got within five cents of the dream target. Total profit with a $500 risk is $2,250. This is a very good trade. It's over four. 4.5 times the amount risk made in profit. This is turning a, a, a really, really nice trade into something even bigger. You're getting in the trade here. The stop is over here. Now you say to yourself, well, is this too tight? No, why? Let's go back and look at the juniper here. So you see where this juniper gap, here's where it closed the night before here, around 2039-ish, and open the next morning right here. This has to break and go right away. If it doesn't, it's kaputsy for this thing. Why? This could have failed. It could have actually gone up and trade it up higher. Why? It was coming down into this area here. Do you see this? There's a lot of price congestion in here for this to the left here. So this is one of these ones. There again, you have to see the setup and you take it aggressively. You rate the gap. You like the gap. It rates for the 26-point rating system. You take the trade when it sets up. Why? Because it should go. And if it doesn't, you want to be out. Okay? And it does go and it breaks and falls off the planet before you can even say go time. So after the first trade in this, which came all the way down to the dream number here, this is all the way into 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock, look at this. You could have done a second trade in this. Juniper had the morning move, rallied all the way up here. Beautiful, beautiful pattern here, resistance. Set up here in the 15-minute chart. Now, this is a 15-minute chart. The other one's a one-minute chart. This is a 15-minute chart. Again, I'm reading price action, seeing the stock set up here to go on and break. Again, went down, broke the low by a few pennies, you're out. So you could have had the first trade on Juniper, and you could have taken a second trade on Juniper. Price is 19.44, stop is over 19.55, risk is 11 cents. Again, on 5,000 shares, it's a $550 risk. Exit's $19. Total profit's $2,200. Risk to reward is four times the amount made in profit. Again, you're only looking for three. You're only looking for three. And if it goes to the bigger number, could this have gone more? Sure, it could have. Let's just go here and look and see where could this have gone here. Actually, dream target on this was 1870. Real target was, actually, the real target was 1925, then 19. Dream target was 1870. Look, it actually broke that the second day. But this is late here. This is a late, late trade. This is into the close. It's after 3 o'clock. So then you got to get out. But you could have made two really nice trades in Juniper, making over four risk units twice. So let's look at the advanced results for Juniper. If you're an advanced trader, what were the results for you? Well, in the play one, you risked $500, and you could have made 2250 
In the play two for the advanced trader, 550 was a risk. You could have made 2200 Now, let's just say worst case scenario, this one would have failed. You still would have been up like 1750 on the day. So even if the second one would have failed, you still would have had a $1,750 some profit. That's still a very nice day, even if this had failed, okay? Now, the total risk for two, both the trades, though, was 1050 500 for the first, 550 for the second. Total profit results was $4,450. This is in one stock, in one gap, in two trades, in one day. And the worst case scenario is that the first trade would have lost. You would have lost 500 Is this worth it to make this? Yes. Yes, it is. Total risk to reward pad is 4.2 and average in both the trades. And this is all in one stock in one day and one golden gap. I use, let's go back here. I use a... Uh, very clean charts. Ray is asking me about moving averages. This is a 200 period moving average. This is a 20 period moving average. This is an 8 period moving average. I really have very clean charts. I don't want to see a lot of mucky muck. I want to see what's exactly going on. I don't use Fibonacci's. I don't use anything else. I've seen some people's charts that look like a planetary solar system plopped on top of it, and you can't see anything that's going on. I, I really think the reason I'm so honed into all this stuff here when I take my entries and setups and the stops and the numbers and everything is because I have clean charts. So if there's anything I could advise you to do is get your charts clean. In fact, do a test for yourself. For those of you that are traders already, just test yourself one day. Take all the junk off and see if you can do it. I bet you trade better. I bet you don't even miss half the stuff that you're using. You don't, you don't need it. You, sometimes we rely on these things. We cling to these things, and they're not even helping us. And, in fact, they're really hurting us. Uh, this is a 15-minute chart, but I use these same things on anything. The 1, the 2, the 5, the 15, all of them. Okay? So think about what I'm saying here. Clean, clean, clean. The only thing that matters is the price anyways. The 200 period moving average, the 20 period moving average, the eight period moving average, and this is the baby one, the eight. I use simple period moving averages, not exponential ones as well. And, and, and I really, really think it's a good test for people to take some stuff off if they've got too many indicators on their charts and see if they can live without them. It tests your knowledge. It's going to force you to hone in and focus ex exactly the detail that I'm talking about here today, which is what? Technical analysis. What is technical analysis? Price, the movement of price and the reading of price. This little jiggy over here when it's moving. I'm watching this moving little guy here when it's moving real time. I'm watching these bars as they're moving here. I'm watching the price action. Is it going up? Is it going down? Is it getting sold off? Is it showing? Is it done? What's happening here? What's How is this going on? I'm looking at my level two. Simple, 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 simple. Simple moving averages, okay? The beginner results for Juniper could have been this. Let's pretend you didn't want to risk $500 a trade. Play one, $100 risk would have been a profit of $450. Play two, $110 risk would have been a profit of $440. Total risk then on these two trades for the beginner person was $210. Total profit results would have been $890 for this beginner. So if this person wanted to risk $210 as a brand new newbie, he could have made $890 on that day in Juniper, and that is fantastic. That's outstanding. To be able to risk $210 and make $890 as a beginner is outstanding. Total risk to reward is 4.2. Again, this is on one stock in one day. You don't have to do a million trades. You don't have to look at a million gaps or a million stocks. You don't have to look at anything other than Juniper and follow it. Just sit there and watch it set up and see everything it's doing and understand it. You know, because in the end, understanding what's going on here is so key. Understanding what's going on here is so key. And I know that when people see these things in the reality, they say, ah, but, you know, to me, I'm looking at this and I'm seeing this as utter perfection. And so this is what I'm teaching people how to do because this is what matters. This is what matters. Otherwise, you're chasing it down here. Are you putting in a stop all the way up here because you're not sure? And then you can't take the size. You know, again, I was talking about, you know, qualifying for the race and getting in the race and winning the race. How do you get to the point where you can actually be an advanced trader like this? You got to get, you got to be like this. You got to start from here and then you go to here. You got to take to the point where you can take 100 shares, 200 shares, 300 shares, 1,000 shares. You got to be able to do that before you can do this. And, and it doesn't matter, again, uh, how much money you have, if you are, even if you have millions of dollars, I say just get good. Start from scratch and then work it up to this. 
because you need to have a level of understanding of what's going on here to take the risk, to take the trades, to take the positions, to do it, because you're doing it. You're the one that's doing it. You're the one that is doing it. So why do these setups work? Well, they work because of the gaps. Golden gaps are quality gaps. Golden gaps provide setups that have a good risk to reward payout. And not every stock or gap will offer good risk to reward. I mean, that's the fact. If that was the case, then all we'd have to do is roll out of bed every morning and play something and look for these setups. But do they happen in everything? No. Do they happen in every gap? No. That's why I figured out a system to qualify them. And they do need to be qualified. Gaps need to be qualified each morning to determine if they meet the standards of criteria to trade. It's kind of like having a, a checklist, like if you were a doctor. You were a doctor before you go into the surgery. You'd say, okay, nurse, check. do check. Radiology, check. Anesthesia, check. You check off everything. All this stuff has to be yes, yes, yes. Got to get the checks. Otherwise, you can't perform the surgery on the person successfully, and you have to do that. You're like performing surgery on the gap. Surgical, go. Do it. Boom. And you take it deliberately, and you're out. You're finding a highly rated gap is key, and it's absolutely key to finding good setups. And gaps are an opportunity to find good risk to reward trades. And they often have follow through with good payouts and huge moves. It's all about the quality of the gap, which in turn leads you to the quality entry. And that's how you're going to make money. So in order to take the position at the exact price point, you need to be watching. You need to be watching the right stock to trade. And it can't be by happenstance. And if you're waiting to find stuff on a scanner in the morning, uh, you know, you can miss the entry. You'll miss the entry I'm taking. I'm already in it. I'm close to being out by the time people are finding stuff on scanners that are dropping. I'm like, I could be completely out <laughs> by the time these things pop up in scanners. So how do you know what to watch? You find the gap and you rate it. If the gap rates per the 26-point system, you watch it to set up. And when it does, you take it. Easy as that. Support and resistance levels and targets are determined pre-market before the open. That's the good thing about being prepared, just like if you were a doctor. You say, we got to get all these things lined up, and then we're ready to go. And then you watch it on the day. It does what you want, and you take the trade. Determining targets ahead of time helps you determine if the stock is going to have a good risk-to-reward move. And that's the whole idea. So you've got to learn how to take large positions with small stops because you have conviction in the gap. How do you get to the point where you can take a 5,000 share position? You've got to have conviction. I trade with size because I have 100% conviction in my own system. I have 100% conviction in gaps as a strategy and I have 100% conviction in my own entries when I take a position to just do it. Do it deliberately, aggressively, right when it sets up and go for it. And do it and that's what you have to do. And, and this is this is trading. This is the kind of thing where you can do where you can make a make three dollars to risk a dollar, make ten dollars by risking a dollar. How do you do it? You have to have conviction in this. This thing here is everything. It doesn't look like much, but it means the world in this chart. This really doesn't look like anything to anybody unless they're know me or took my class or are me. You know, I just love these things. I know there's so much money to be made in these things. And not everyone that's in this chart is like this thing here. I just know when I rate these gaps and it rates per my system that it's going to pay me. And that's how I'm able to trade. That's how I'm able to do it. Golden gaps give me conviction to trade and take calculated risk. And the calculated risk is in what? Is determining, first of all, that the gap rates per the checklist, number one. Then you wait for the setup. And then the calculator risk is I'm taking the entry here and I'm putting the stop here. So you are risking a certain amount of money dollar-wise. And that is how you're figuring out your share size. You're, you're going to determine the sizing of the position based on the dollar amount that you want to risk. Whether you want to risk $50, $100, or $500, it is up to you. And then you take it. So I teach a class called the Golden Gap Course. That's what I named my system because I, I decided that these gaps are like finding gold in the market. Why? Because of the entries, because of the setups, because of the way that they run, because of the how big that they pay for the amount of money that I risk. The Golden Gap course teaches a 26-point rating system to find the best stock to trade each day or multiple stocks. Many days there's more than one gap to trade. T today you could have done anything. In fact, this morning I said in the room, you, you could just do anything today that I had that I liked. <laughs> I said you could just do anything I like today, and you could have done anything I liked or done them all, and they and they all 
um, you know, or one of these things where you just say, can I do two or three things at the same time? I don't know. You know, I, I really like to focus on one thing. I did do two things today, but you know what? Sometimes if you can manage it, you could do three or four. The course also teaches you how to enter and exit the stock of the day to get good risk to reward trades. The course teaches price analysis and technical analysis on an advanced level. And you got to learn it. You know, I'm, I'm, I, you know, it's just one of these things. The idea of not wanting to learn something isn't going to make you money in the market. You want to do well in the market, you got to learn what to do. There's no shortcuts. There, there is absolutely no shortcuts to becoming a successful trader. I'll tell you that right now. You've got to learn the information and you got to study. The course teaches a more proficient way to read support and resistance in the right direction. The course teaches you to focus on one strategy in a detailed manner so you can become a good trader because that should be your goal. If you say, oh, I want to be the best trader that I can be, then the money's going to come to you. If you if you just so uh, focused on the money and now focused enough on the setups, where do I take this, what price, then you're going to have your mind on too many other things. Just try to focus on one thing, which is the gap and the setup and being a good trader. And then, then the money will come to you from the market. So the Golden Gap rating system is a 26-point checklist. This is, this is my thing. This is what I do. And, uh, and I'm very good at it. It measures gaps by rating them in the daily chart to find stocks to trade that have a high probability of directional bias for the entire day, a big move in the day, early confirmation of the bias in the move between 9.30 and 10 a.m., and precise entries with follow-through and a good risk-to-reward target potential, which is very, very important. And it doesn't matter what strategy you trade or what kind of trading you do. It doesn't matter if you do options or futures or forex or anything. Anything you do in the market or any market you trade in, a risk-to-reward has to be there. It has to be there. There's fees involved when you trade. you got to pay commissions. you got to pay room fees. you got to pay platform fees. This is what makes it worth it. This is how you pay yourself in the end. you got to cover all the stuff, the costs that involve to trade, and then still pay yourself. How are you going to do that? you got to have a good risk-to-reward. Learn how to take good risk-to-reward trades. You, the idea is to book the money. So the Golden Gap system has great risk-to-reward. All the pieces of the puzzle that you need to do it successfully. And I teach a class called the Golden Gap Course. It is November 9th and 10th from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time. The cost of the class is $2,499 U.S. dollars. It is a professional bearish gap system. Again, because I'd like to focus on the shorts. So that is what I'm teaching in the class. You could rate the gaps and flip the points if you wanted to do them in the bullish direction. I personally like to focus on shorts, but you could rate a bullish gap and just flip the points in the reverse direction to rate the gap with the 26 points. My email, if you're interested in signing up for the class, is melissa at thestockswish.com. Remember, your path to success is the Golden Gap course, and you've got to get on a path to success. If you're not on one, think about getting on one before the end of this year. My goodness, it's almost 2014. Fall trading is great because of the fourth quarter earnings season. We're in the thick of it now. It lasts for the entire next month. Great time of the year to trade during fall. I also teach another class called a trends course. This class is a course on how to read trends and stock charts, which I think a lot of people find challenging and as another good thing to learn. It's November 13th and 14th from 1 to 5 Eastern Time. The cost of this class is $9.99. If you're interested, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. I'm doing a combo special for November. It's the Golden Gap course and the Trends course for one price for $29.99. So you're actually saving $499 if you want to do both the classes together. It's a really good savings. So you could do both the Golden Gap class and the Trends class for $29.99. You save almost $500. And I run a live trading room. It's called Stock Swish Show Live, where I trade, call trades live, in, and, and do it do it every day. <laughs> and I'm running a special for Golden Gap class students for 2014 to go into the year and be in the room and do the trades with me. It's a holiday room special I'm offering this month and includes the entire year of 2014 plus the rest of 2013, so it's 14 months, for one great price. It's a holiday room special of $1,800. The room is normally $200 a month. So at this price, it's 25% off, plus you get the extra two months for this year in 2013. It's a savings of $800, and the average room rate then with the special is like only $128 a month. This is a really, really, really good deal. 
Uh, and then you're in the room for the next year, year, next 14 months trading gaps. So happy Halloween, everyone. Thanks for coming. Does anyone have any questions? Any questions on anything? Any, anything anyone wants me to go over? Any questions about the class? Any questions about the setups? Any questions about gaps? Here's my email. Does anyone have any questions about anything? Ray, Sin. Anyone have any questions about any of the any of the charts I talked about today? Any of the trains today? Any of the gaps today? Anything about gaps in general? Or the class? Well, if anyone has any questions, you can email me there. You can feel free to email me there. Kathy put my, no, I put my email in the room there. And here's my phone number too if you want to reach out and call me. And I'm a live trader. So, you know, it's, it's all me. I'm trading live. I'm teaching the class myself. And I'm teaching people actually what I do myself. And by the way, I made it for myself. I, I didn't ever make this to teach anyone. I just decided that I wanted to learn how to trade and I threw myself into the market. And what I figured out was really good and my friends encouraged me to start teaching it to people. So I started a business. I think the reason though my, my information, my rating system, everything I do is really good is because I did it for myself because I really wanted to do this successfully. You mean the webinar queue? Will, the, will the, this presentation be available? I actually am taping this. And it will be on YouTube. Um, it will be on YouTube uh, probably this evening or tomorrow if you would like to rewatch it. Yes. And I have a lot of videos on YouTube. Sure, Ray. You can email me um, at melissa at thestockswish.com if you would like a free trial to the trading room to check it out. And I have a lot of videos on YouTube, uh, I, 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 just a ton of webinars and different trades I've done. And I do a lot of market reviews, although I haven't done a market review on YouTube for a while. I've just been too busy. <laughs> just been too busy trading because it's earning season. <laughs> so, yeah, you're welcome. Thank you, Q. So think about some of the things I said. If you, if you are a trader right now, consider what I've said about this idea of risk to reward. I think lots of people uh, don't even know it's possible to make this kind of risk to reward because maybe whatever strategy uh, people do, they, they just can't get the moves and stuff. And so they tend to become scalpers. I know, I know because I know a lot of people that, that scalp trade. But really, it, it's not the way to make a serious, serious money in the market. The way to make serious, serious money in the market is to play momentum. And gaps have momentum. And it's a combination of the momentum that happens in the gap and then the correct entry and setup to get the risk reward that provides this type of payout. It's the momentum in the stocks when they're selling off. So, you know, it, it, this is really, as far as I'm concerned, the way to do this if you really want to do it seriously to make a living. And some people want to do it part-time and some people want to do it full-time. But if you really want to get the most bang for your buck, even if you want to do it part-time, you can still trade gaps and trade them early in the morning and be done. It's one of these types of strategies where you don't have to sit here all day. You can retake a trade several times or stock several times in the day. But if you want to do one trade and be done, you can be out. You can be done by 10 o'clock, 10, 15. You're welcome. You're welcome, Ray. Any questions from, from anyone else? And I hope everyone has a wonderful Halloween. I hope you're going to some great parties and, and have some great costumes. I hope everyone has a wonderful night tomorrow night. <laughs> All right. Happy Halloween. Have a great evening. And if anyone is interested in the class, it's November 9th and 10th. Email me if you'd like to sign up and get registered. I'm taking a limited amount of people because I talk a lot and answer a lot of questions during the class. <laughs> so the sooner you sign up, the better if you want to do it. It's not this weekend, it's next weekend. Thank you. I will have a wonderful Halloween for sure. <laughs> and I'm still getting up and trading Friday morning. <laughs> All right. Thanks, everybody. Have a great night. Email me if you need anything. Thanks, Kathy. And thank you so much, Online Trader Central.
Have a good one.